Moscow, thousands of Russian soldiers and combat equipment are being pulled back from Belarus after the 2017 Zapad war drill is over. The large-scale combined war games have sparked hysteria among NATO countries. The withdrawal of Moscow troops was announced by the Russian Defense Ministry. Russian military aircraft and helicopters involved in various stages of training, including those committed in the Belarus region, will be moved to their home airfield within two days, the ministry said in a statement, which was launched in Jafax, Thursday 21-09-2017. The 2017 Zapad war drill begins on September 14th and lasts until Wednesday, September 20th, 2017. In the exercise, Russia sends about 3,000 troops to Belarus practicing in six locations along with 7,000 host country soldiers. In contrast, Russia also welcomed the Belarus forces at three locations, including Luzhsky region, Leningrad. Data from the defense ministries of both countries say less than 13,000 soldiers took part in joint exercises. In addition, about 70 aircraft, 680 armored vehicles, including 250 tanks, 200 artillery guns, and 10 warships have been deployed by both countries. A total of 90 foreign observers from 60 countries are invited to monitor the exercise. However, this massive maneuver has triggered hysteria in the West. Some Western critics suspect that the exercises include a territorial takeover. In addition, Russia is also accused of permanently placing troops in Belarus with a joint training mode. German Defense Minister Ursula von der Leyen, Polish Prime Minister Beata Szydło, and Commander of U.S. Army Forces in Europe, Lieutenant General Ben Hodges, the compact expressed their concern over the combined Russian-Belarusian exercise. Lithuanian President Dalia Griba stated in focus on the joint maneuver in his recent speech at the UN General Assembly in New York. The Kremlin is demonstrating an aggressive scenario against its neighbors, he said. Russian President Vladimir Putin witnessed the joint maneuvers of the two countries yesterday that added to NATO's wrath. However, Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko tried to dampen Western concerns. War exercises only protect the sovereignty of our country, our national interests and our family, he said.